Good afternoon, Facebook. We are back. Um, our phone has had some difficulty. Sometimes it'll let us go horizontal and sometimes it won't. So we are back. Um, give y'all a second to hop back on. All right. So if you're hopping on with us, go ahead and like this video and share it. I am going to go ahead and share it now. Hope y'all are having a wonderful weekend, um, Memorial Day weekend, so three-day weekend, enjoying it with your family. Happy Sunday. All right, people are hopping back on. Let me see if I can see. So today, if y'all have been, okay, we're sharing. Um, so the this is our third devotional for Salt Shaker. On Friday, Sean uh, jumped on and talked about peace of mind, um, and he focused on Philippians 4, 6, and 7. And then yesterday, Pastor uh, Virginia and Pastor Tim went live and talked about anxiety and fear and how to look to Jesus to overcome those. So today our main focus is praise produces peace. So how to focus on praise to receive the peace. Um, our main scripture, um, if y'all are just jumping on, go ahead and share this. I can't see who's on. Um, let's turn to Psalm 8, 2. And for this specific verse, I'm going to read out of the Passion Translation. Psalm 8, 2. Give you a second to flip there. Um, it reads, You have built a stronghold by the songs of babies. Strength rises up with the chorus of singing children. This kind of praise has the power to shut Satan's mouth. Childlike worship will silence the madness of those who oppose you. So this here is talking about you have to begin as a believer to open your mouth to praise God to shut the enemy. So I think when we all go through, you don't have to go through ups and downs in life. I'm not saying that. But when we do face situations we want to be prepared to face that, to have peace that we can have. So in the middle of your situation, instead of focusing on the bad, go ahead and begin to praise God for what he has already done in your life, what he's doing in your life, and what he's going to do in your life. I feel like sometimes um, the enemy likes to shut us up because he'll get thoughts in our head like you're alone in this, you're the only one that's dealing with this, um, and so I just want to encourage you, begin to praise him. I, I want to read that again because I feel like it's really powerful. Psalm 8-2, if you're just hopping on, uh, go ahead and share the stream for us so we can get the word out. And we're going to read Psalm 8-2 again. It's about praising him. You have built a stronghold by the songs of babies. Strength rises up with the chorus of singing children. We are the Lord's children. This kind of praise has the power to shut Satan's mouth. He does not want us praising Jesus. Um, so when you open your mouth, you're shutting up the devil. Childlike worship will silence the madness of those who oppose you. So like I said, you don't have to go through ups and downs in life, but when you face trials, you can know that the Lord is for you, he has plans for you, and you can have peace in those situations. Um, let's now turn over to Philippians 4, uh, verses 6. This is uh, what Sean touched on Friday. Um, you know, we, in order to combat um, thoughts that we have, you have to meditate on the Word of God. You have to meditate on the correct things. So Philippians 4, verse 6, this is the New King James Version, says, Be anxious for nothing, 
but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be known be made known to God and it goes on in seven and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus so don't be anxious about anything is what this is commanding here but in everything begin to pray and he come go to him with thanksgiving to let your request be known to him um, other another verse in the Bible says come boldly to his throne and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding you know as a believer you can have a peace that sometimes people will say how are you going through that or especially during this corona stuff how are you not afraid how are you not living in fear you can be in peace and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus so I would encourage you um, to write down scriptures that pertain to whatever you're going through and begin to confess them over yourself um, also find verses about praise I mean Paul and Silas when they were thrown into the inner prison and locked up they begin to praise Jesus thanking him before those chains fell off and when they praised him the chains fell off not only were they released out of prison all of the or not their shackles fell off all the other prisoners fell off and then the prison guard him and his family all came to know the Lord so there's power in praise there's power in opening up your mouth um, our pastor was talking this morning, you have to open up your mouth to praise the Father. Um, so, also one more verse I want to highlight, 2 Timothy 1.7. This is a very well-known verse. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So when you're feeling thoughts that you're in something alone or you're feeling more in fear, or you're feeling in fear and you know you shouldn't be, Go ahead, open this verse out of the Bible, read it out loud, confess it over yourself every morning. If you wake up in the morning and you're not feeling right, you look in that mirror and you tell yourself, I do not have a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. There is power in speaking the word of God over your life. It will bring peace that surpasses all understanding. Begin to praise him, begin to thank him. Even if you don't feel like there's anything to be thankful for, he sent his son to die for you, to save you, to take away all sickness and disease. So that alone, begin to praise him and you will begin to thank him about things that you don't even think about. It'll just start flowing out. So begin to praise him, open your mouth, defeat the devil, and have that peace that surpasses all understanding. Thank you so much for hopping on. We love y'all. Uh, tune in tomorrow. Um, there will be another devotional. Stay tuned for that. Hope to see you then. Have a great evening. We love you. Bye.